If you use a pillow at home, use one camping. We found it on an affordable option. Let's check it out. This is the Trekology Aloft Pillow 2.0. This actually is one of the more affordable pillows that we have purchased. It weighs 3.9 ounces, which is good enough, I think, for backpacking. And it's big enough, wide enough, for Greg's head. Actually, any, anybody's head, it's pretty wide. Um, there are some really unique features about this. If you look at the other side of it, there's these little rubber dots and it's supposed to help with the traction so it's not sliding all over the place it's on your sleeping pads. And it's got a strap to go around your seat pad. Kind of snaps off. Take it off and then put it around your sleeping pad. Uh, Greg did not do that, stretched it and it unsnapped and smacked him right in the face actually. On the back of the pillow is the air valve. It actually has a press release. You're gonna press it up to blow air into it. And when you're ready to let it down, you wanna push the button down and then you can deflate it. This whole valve thing, the size of it seems a little bit excessive, but it is a nice feature when you want to deflate it. And I would be worried about feeling it, but it actually, I don't feel it when I'm pushing down and it only still weighs three ounces. So for feel wise, it actually feels almost like a very thin felt like texture. Um, it's not quite t-shirt materially, but it definitely feels like there's something there. You want to make sure you're on this side because I think that if you slept on this side, it's a little bit rough and you'd wake up with a whole bunch of dots all over your face. That would be actually pretty funny. Inflatable camp pillows, some are notorious for being terrible because oftentimes they'll just be once one big giant ball and then when you go to rest your head on it, squirrel's going crazy over there. But when you go to rest your head on it, you're kind of balancing on top of it. This has you pretty unique baffling in the middle, but they only put it in the middle here so it kind of creates this concave section here where you're gives it a nice spot where your head to go so I uh, whenever when I'm using it I don't feel like my head's gonna fall off of the pillow at all good feature it does sit on a 25 inch pad you know since they're wide for you. does fit on there quite nicely. For comparison, this is the Nemo Philo. It is pretty much about the same size as the Trekology. The only thing is Nemo Philo is super, super comfortable. Now, I'm not saying that this other one is not comfortable, but this one has its t-shirt covering. It's got the memory foam in it. Hands down, this is probably much more comfortable, but that comes with a much higher price tag. This is the Nemo Philo Elite, and it is a little bit smaller than the Trekology. Um, it also has the t-shirt-like material, so it is quite comfortable. This has a really high price tag compared to the Trekology one. For weight comparison, they actually come in together very close, the Elite and the Trekology, whereas the normal Philo one is almost twice as heavy as these two. Let me show you how to deflate it and put it back into this little package. Gonna push the button down. It's out pretty quick actually. When you fold it, just make sure the valve's on the outside. I'm just gonna roll it up. Get any extra air out. Pretty simple. This thing is small. There you have it. Who would this pillow be good for? Anybody who wants to do any camping, whether it be car camping or backpacking. It checks all the boxes for price point, comfort, and weight. Go check out this video next. You can find out more about us at ExploreTrekAdventure.com and we'll see you next time.